Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24, the penultimate Vlogmas, and my goodness, I'm going to really miss doing these daily vlogs, but I so hope that you have been enjoying them so far. I've realised that I, I actually don't know how I'm doing this, because I'm still a day ahead than I should be. I thought I was only two days ahead before, and then I did a double vlog, so I thought I was caught up, but no, today for me is the 22nd, not the 23rd. I don't, I don't know how this has happened. I feel like I've got that little magic thing that Hermione has that stops time, so I'm in two places at once. Who knows? I just basically have not... I've not managed to catch up. So what I think I'm gonna do... <laughs> And I don't know why I tell you guys, but I feel like it's just me organising my thoughts. Tomorrow's vlog, the vlog that you'll be seeing on Christmas Day, how exciting, is going to be the 23rd and the 24th in one, because then I won't feel too stressed about how much I film on Christmas Eve, because I'll have got most of the 23rd filmed and edited, um, and then I can just do a quick 10 minute edit of the Christmas Eve bits to pop into the vlogs that'll go live on Christmas Day. Yes, okay, <laughs> glad we got that sorted. So darlings, when you're watching this, it will be the night before Christmas. Oh my goodness, how many of you guys have um, been read to the lovely Christmas um, bedtime story, "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there and the rest. I absolutely love that and if we have children in the future, I will 100% be reading that to them every night, every Christmas Eve, until they are so old that they think it's embarrassing. But anyway, I love it. I absolutely love it. Charlie and I are heading to Lechlade this morning, which is, of course, where time is, which is quite possibly... In fact, definitely my favourite hotel, one of my favourite places in the whole world and as part of one of my advent calendar treats, Charlie has organised us both to have a Bertioli Breathe treatment, which is the one in the Botanical Bothy. So it's like a breathing treatment, um, you get a head water kind of massage and you get a body massage. It is heavenly, it's 90 minutes. And I feel very, very grateful and lucky to be having this close before Christmas because it is a busy, stressful time of year. We're literally just waiting for Charlie's washing in the washing machine to finish and then we're dashing off. And my outfit of the day, I have popped on my Gucci cape. I'm going to just try and get as much wear out of this as possible. It was obviously a pricey piece. But it was actually in one of Emily Cannum's videos, she was saying, oh, this is the kind of thing that I will pass down to, to daughters in the future or nieces. And I like the idea of having these like fabulous statement things in my wardrobe that I'll just keep forever and hand down through the generations. <laughs> That's me trying to justify this ludicrously expensive cape. But I love it. Um, and little Tory Burch handbag, Joseph jumper dress, and then Reese, ooh, Reese boots. Excuse my box of shampoo there. We're just kind of rearranging all the bathrooms ahead of when um, Charlie's family arrive on Christmas Eve. So anyway, I'm just gonna help Charlie pop the washing out on the dryer, and then we're gonna hit the road. a very dozy, a dozy Josie. <laughs> Fun fact, it really annoys me when people call me Josie. It's Josie. <laughs> but a dozy, a dozy, it's because I'm saying dozy Josie. This is like when people um, spell Charlie maybe white. It's a girl's version. I don't um, know, but you don't see it very often. Well. I suspect they're still a distant family member that used to send me birthday cards for 30 years and it's spelled it that way. 
But yes, coming to you very dozy and a little bit creased from the massage bed, but that was such a heavenly treatment. I actually thought we were going to be in the botanical bothy, um, and I realised I'd forgotten my swimming costume because that treatment does involve soaking um, and a tub bathtub experience afterwards. But it was more like the classic 90 minute signature treatment, um, but using the heavenly Bertioli products, which just smell amazing. They use the water mint from their meadow, inspired the fragrance of the Bertioli products. Um, so it was just 90 minutes of pure bliss. Started off with a very thorough back and neck massage, then legs, then arms, head, um, and then she used rose quartz to do like a lovely facial massage, which is really great, especially where I've been wearing my brace. My jaw is quite tense, so it's just heaven, absolute heaven. How did you find your treatment, Dine? Fantastic. <laughs> you look very relaxed. Yeah, I, I love it. Well, that's why we keep going back. I think this is only my third or fourth time here. Mm. Um, but every time we've come, apart from the cookery course, I've had the treatment and they've always been amazing. Yeah. Um, which is hard to say that about maybe other places we've visited where there's a bit of inconsistency. <laughs> um, I won't name anyone, but the, um, <laughs> but he is fantastic. I would really recommend it. And I think it's a nice, do you know what, the, this, what we're doing today, if we were staying for a bit longer as well, but without staying the night, you could come and have treatment. I'd get treatment done in the morning personally, mm. then have an explore, then have a like, late lunch here then go doing what we're doing later but for garden centre it works well doesn't it yeah because i was in two minds as to whether to have this after lunch but i don't think you want to be i don't like having mm. treatment after eating i guess it depends because for a girl if i was having a really nice like really smart lunch i'd want to wash my hair because i've got quite a lot of oil in it yeah but it would just go it's just a casual lunch here, yeah it? i'm not going to wash my hair now no no definitely no and we always love this room. It's just the most beautiful shade of green. You've got a really toasty fire, excuse my knee. <laughs> Lovely furniture, um, view to the gardens. And during the treatment, you can hear the birds singing. It's so relaxing. And I've got a rosemary and honey tea and a low alcohol wine. Okay. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you for a lovely yeah. advent treatment. Nice. Days I'm looking forward to the pub. Mm, me too. Crazy pub. Lovely. Cheers. Couldn't resist a quick trip to the shop. Charlie's already spotted something lovely. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Looks so nice, all stacked up. These are quite nice. These are enamel. So these would be good for paintings and things. Ooh, little moths. <laughs> This one's got the most beautiful tablescape. The ruffled tablecloth. Are they snowdrops? Gosh, that's so beautiful. The ruffles and the glassware. Unfortunately, they are out of stock of the soap. So we'll have to come back oh, look, in the new year. Oh, <laughs> yes. Lovely. Up next, lunch at the Swan, which is also owned by the family that run Time. Newly renovated. Looking forward to some hearty pub food. Rabbits and the pig in blanket. Yeah, I was going to say rather than starters, should we do that? Do you want oh, I need the souffle. Oh my gosh. Our pigs in blankets have arrived, and I'm going to dip my pig in blankets in the remaining souffle sauce. This is about to become my favourite Christmas snack. Oh. Charlie's gone for fish and chips for his main. I have gone for artichoke risotto. I'm feeling very full and satisfied from our meal at the Swan. We've come to my favourite garden centre, Burford, for some last minute Christmas gifts and to have a little mooch around at their lovely very expensive but very lovely decorations. They always have the loveliest crockery here, these beautiful green glasses, gosh they're beautiful. Not that we need any more glassware or not that I'm allowed to buy any more crockery according to his lordship. We are on a mission to find, oh the one next to it look, a similar fern to what they had in the spa, nope the little one. It's too small for anything that we Let's see if they got the same fern that they had in the spa. Yeah they're more like plastic. 
You yeah. can always find some lovely gift ideas in here. I rather love these big ceramic bowls. Tar Jane, made in Siren Sister. Charlie's favourite area. Bird feeding yeah, area. I want to have a bit of rejig of our bird feeding set up. Oh, dear. That's one of my New Year's resolution. Right. What is something new? Burford now makes their own tradition. Oh, oh. <laughs> why does this always happen to me? Olive and rosemary washing up liquid. I bet that's nice. Yeah, we're going to get one of them. Try mm -hmm. that. It'll make washing up fun. Actually, we do need one of these. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know what? Someone needs to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time I try and talk. <laughs> someone needs to make nice washing up gloves. Well, like stylish ones. Yeah, let's do it. Is that a, a snow trough? The most luxurious garden tools of all time. Beautiful. So this is where things can get very dangerous because the Christmas decorations here are amazing. Charlie, look at this. Gold teasels and gold hydrangeas. Oh my gosh, they're stunning. Wow, these are fabulous. Imagine having a tree big enough for those. back home from Burford and we arrived home to quite a few deliveries. I ordered a few different um, flowery bits from Flowered. I'll show you those in a second. Charlie's just oh, unboxing yes. a delivery from well, Elemis. I, I can't say I've ever used the day one. Have you not? Uh, well, no, I, I have a moisturiser I like already, but mm -hmm. the night one is amazing, so you can have the day one there. Ah, deal. Is it the yeah. SPF one or the Pro Collagen? Pro Normal. Collagen. Marine, nice. Marine. And what was the first thing that you opened? This is a Penguin Book of Christmas Stories, and it's the classics ones, that is which so we already have loads lovely. of, and not this one. So that is epic. That is honestly such a good gift. Yeah. We we actually collect this style of book, and, and we, can show, we, can, we show everyone our collection. Yeah, that's come, so lovely. Come, now that, come see the collection. Okay. I'm excited to read this. Yeah, well, let's put it on the side in here. I wonder if it's like adult adult Christmas stories or or baby ones. The very dark Christmas room. Need to turn the tree on. Ding! And also a new addition, because we didn't have a lamp over here before, but I decided, I think we need Ooh, that. that is a nice lamp. Nice, huh? Where did you find that? That is from Max Rollett, where the sofa's from. Max yeah, Rollett. They came in a pair, so we've got another one. I haven't decided where that is lovely. Live. Cool, right? Mm. <clears throat> Right, where are the books? Well, this I think should stay out here. Definitely. This should literally live. I quite like the idea of like, things living. Like yeah, that. I do too. Because then people pick them up. Yeah, um, especially at Christmas. Here, it's not, I did wonder whether we could do with a couple more lights in this cupboard, but here, yeah, mm. these are oh, the classics. Oh, wow. So you Gosh, that literally could not have been more of a perfect gift. We don't gift. have a Christmas one. How perfect. Mm. There they are. All of these They're ones awesome. Here. And it, it, in a way, like I hope one day when we have children, hopefully we can have children, the... Um, these books will, you know, yeah. be a nice sort of library for that. Lovely. And then there was another Elemis um, gift, wasn't there? Yes. Do you want to unbox that? What do we have here? Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for your support in 22. Look forward to working with you in 2020. Do you think their new gift boxes are lovely? Mm. I don't know. It almost seemed a waste not to reuse them. Or Definitely. What's this? Or the Glow Getters trilogy. Ooh, I love that. The AHA liquid vinegar is one of my favourites. I can't say I've, any, I've used any of these. No, what else is in there? Superfood Glow Cleansing Butter. Mm. Oh, I love that. Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow, that's the one you're all about. Yep. Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. Oh, yeah, of course. And as a reminder, you can get 25% off Elemis until December 31st with code JOSIEF25. Great stocking fillers. Great stocking fillers, although by the time people watch this vlog, I don't think they'll be able to order anymore. But you can get a glow on for New Year. 
And then these are my flower deliveries. I did a big flowered order a couple of days ago. These, I'm going to add a few. I don't think the roses will last that well. So I'm going to just fiddle around with these and add some other little bits inside. Maybe some um, teasels. I might spray some teasels gold and add those in. So these two will be our table centerpieces for our Christmas Day tables. Charlie said he wants to add in some big green candles. And then I ordered another of my crimson christmas bouquets and that's going to be really beautiful to have in the dining room and then i ordered the um i think we named this one the festive frost i'll show you when it's all out of the packaging i'll show you when it's all out of the packaging and that's going to go in one of the guest rooms so these are the gold bits that we just bought from um burford and i think we're going to add them into this tree here i need to redo the lights on this tree because for some reason they have stopped working which is very annoying so i'm going to relight this tree add the gold bits and bobs in um and sort out the flowers Okay, the blooms are in their vases and I wanted to share with you a little hack from Lala. And basically, if you have a lot of these lovely antique kind of vases at home, some of them are not completely water resistant. Some of them, if they're a bit terracotta-y, they can just over time dribble with water, which is not ideal. So what I like to do is pop some water in just any old plastic container. Obviously a vase is great, but it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Even these old, um, soup things can be reused just for a little bit of water in the bottom obviously these ones will dry out and go completely crispy uh, like the ones that we have got over here by the fireplace this bouquet here is about six weeks old now and everything has just completely dried up and gone crispy and that's just got a little um probably i don't know yogurt pot <laughs> of water down in the base there um and then these ones over here i've just got those out of their packaging and popped them in a soup container in there as well because no one sees it and it's just a great way of keeping um keeping the water in so that it doesn't dribble out of my lovely antique containers Okay, darlings, Charlie has just nipped out to go and pick up some steak knives for our Boxing Day Beef Wellington. And I'm taking this opportunity to just wrap up Charlie's very last minute Christmas um, stocking fillers. We only do stocking fillers for each other. So I have got a few very last minute things that I ordered from Amazon. A couple of new Arga oven gloves because ours are looking a little bit old. This I thought was a really clever idea because Charlie keeps his sunglasses in the car. This apparently clips onto your, um, what do you call it? Your sun visor. And then you can clip your sunglasses in here. So I thought that was quite clever. His favourite uh, moisturiser, and then I've also got him a book as well. So I'm going to very quickly wrap these bits up before he comes home again. And I'm watching Leonora's latest video about... Ooh. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. Oh, I've already watched that one. About her festive floral house decorating. Hello, everybody. Okay, tree update is complete and honestly the golden decorations that I just picked up in Burford have made such a lovely difference. I almost wish I had bought every single one that was there <laughs> and you can see the lovely, they're not quite hydrangea heads, they're almost more like allium heads. Really catch the light, the teasels, this little cluster of thistles down here. One year I will actually make my own spray them gold from outside but just run out of time again. Um, I added the lights back on because the lights built into the tree unfortunately somehow stopped working. So that is that ticked off my to-do list and now I need to add some twinkling fairy lights into the wreath in the drawing room. Oh my goodness my darlings, it is now half past ten. 
I have been asleep on this sofa since like 8 p.m. That was a mega snoozle. I feel like it has completely <laughs> upskittled my sleep pattern. I think it was actually the massage maybe that just made me so relaxed <laughs> that I decided to have a big snooze on the sofa. Last I knew I was finishing off my nice bowl of pasta that Charlie made. I could hear him clashing around in the kitchen doing the washing up and I remember waking up being like, oh, I must help him. <laughs> and then going straight back to sleep again. Um, but I feel like this has been quite a short vlogmas. The penultimate vlogmas. You guys will be watching this. Yeah, you'll be watching this on Christmas Eve, the night before Christmas. So I hope you've had a really magical day. And I'm very much looking forward to the next vlog, the final vlog. And darlings, just before I go, if you have been enjoying the vlogs, please don't forget to give them a thumbs up. It really does mean the world to me. And if you haven't already, it would be my Christmas wish for you to click the little subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you have been enjoying Vlogmas. So, my darlings, that is all from me for today. Tomorrow's vlog. There will be a vlog tomorrow on Christmas Day. Um, and it'll be another bumper one. It will be another two-day vlog because I'll be filming the 23rd and the 24th all in one. So, I hope you are excited for that one. And that's all from me and Dexy for tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well. I'd just like to say that I hope for the pressing strings will exactly.